Hello friends, welcome back to the new video of React Native. So today we are going to learn how to create such kind of UI in React Native. So basically this, the name of this kind of UI is basically a timeline. Okay, so this is basically a timeline. So how we are going to create a timeline in React Native. So we are going to use the package that is called React Native Timeline. This one. So these are the basic examples that we have already done. And you can see that I have already added this one just give me a setting uh, second uh, let me connect with the any desk it is disconnected <coughs> okay session closed connecting so we have this one okay so you can see that this is the timeline that we have to create there are certain you, this package we need to install okay for the basic uh, for the this one the basic usage so you can see that we need to install this react native timeline for the basic we want just you need to pass this data okay if i'm going to pass this timeline data by commenting this is the basic structure so i'm going to add this basic one so here we go with the basic timeline structure comment on uh, let's comment this one because i already made the basic structure over the over the above so you can see that here i have already added this one okay so i'm going to uncomment this one shift okay so this is that one so let's refresh it reload this uh, let's see reload this anything we have done wrong let me check but this one is let me kill this app and restart it again Okay, let's make the React Native this one again. Build and let's see. Let's go to the creating the build. Let's see. Why this is not happening? Give me a second then. I will cross check it. Where is app.js? So we have, you can see that a React Native app. Okay, render. No, no, no. This is wrong. This is, I think this timeline is wrong. We need to use this timeline. This is the timeline and the data. Return this. Okay. Now you can see that. Here we have added the timeline you can see here the timeline event event description one this is the basic one you can see that in the example this is the basic one okay next we have this one time react native timeline flat list so this is done this is the custom one right so let me uncomment this one okay so i have already made this section let me comment this one control uh, this one to be commented to be commented let's reopen the next one this is opened let's see where is this one this is again locked so let's reload this and see you can see that this is a dot one this is the circle dot okay this is circle dot then we have icons so circle dot is here then we have this one icon so you need to pass this options using the flat list true so here we go with this you need to pass this one timeline so you can use this one parameters and add it okay 
okay so if you can add this one or you can add the full fledged this one okay, and just comment this line and this one also because of the flex it is not so what you are getting in the uh, this command line load this okay this is for basically the color size and color circle color okay so you can add it let uh, let me check this part timeline or somewhere something where i have returned flex to make it meant this one and that much this one flex let's add this make it control uh, y Okay, so here we go with it. You can see that this is the uh, this is this part. This is basically there is one difference only. Here we are adding this one section where we have inner circle dot. Okay, so here we have passed this one with circle circle size, circle color, and line color and timeline color that they are adding. Okay, so this we have already created. This is the icon that you can just pass here the inner circle icon over here, right? And uh, here you need to, you can give the icon, then uh, it will pick up the icon, right? Okay. Next, we have a override renderer. So you can see that there's an icon also, and there is an image also at the same. So basically, they have a title and the description, right? So they have a description, they have an icon, they have an image URL. So they are doing the title description. So they are in the title, as you can see that what they have done in the render detail, render detail section, they have render detail, this dot render. So in this uh, this render, they are passing the view and the title, and it, here you have descending data with the image and the text. So they have made this one. After that, if you, the timeline is too much more and of, over to it, now then you can use the refresh load more. Okay, on refresh on this, and the, here is the full example. You can see that you can just draw it. Just control A, control C. And go to the this one section app.js. And after commenting this, okay. And we will going to add this, add this one. And uh, let's see. Now you can see that I'm just going to copy and paste this one, okay. And here we need to change the. Here we go with this one on refresh. Then we have a app here. Okay, let's see. Is there any error over here? Okay, okay. Im image is not there, right? So where we have added the image? Image is there. Data circle image. This, 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 this. Where we have created the full part. So I'm going to comment this one, the image one, which I don't require right now. Icon. anything and icon is there no there is no icon right now save this reload this syntax error for unexpected token okay let's open this in the tab so i get to know about the code here we have app.js so let's see where the code breaks But here is it's okay all where the error is. This is also okay. 
on here there is a mismatch there is like this okay there is a comma i guess okay save this and check it out reload this and let's open the app reload this and now you can see that here there is a long list of it there is pull to refresh okay now you are going to this data is coming right load more data load more data you can have the pull to refresh so this is how we can get this one and on scroll all the data is coming okay so this is the tutorial on the timeline so any query any issue in that just let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like share and comment on my video okay so i'm just grasping more videos on the react native okay so hope you will like it thank you so much have a great day